What's up, YouTube? Alright, so I'm gonna show y'all how to make a, um, kind of like burn a movie to a disc and add a little title meaning to it. And yeah. Alright, so I have my Xbox 360 here, and, um, uh, let me show you guys. This is the same disc no matter what. Um, no, this is not for an ISO, sorry. It's for an actual movie. And. Alright, so we're going to put this disc in. Alright, so it's reading. Alright, and it says Rise of the Planet Apes. Um, there's a little Pac Man, or there's a little Space Invaders, like Alien. And you can actually select the title, which is like. You can add multiple movies inside the disc, and I will show y'all how to do that now. Alright, so, what you're going to need is, um, a computer, of course, a blank disc, and a movie to complete your, um, thing. Um, now let's go to the computer. Alright, so now we're at our computer, um, what you're going to need is DVD flick, it'll be in the description for download, and you're also going to need a movie that, um, you're going to burn to your disc. <coughs> Alright, so open up DVD Flick, and it's this is like the best DVD burning software you can get. Um, click close down there when that pops up. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to um, go to right here and click add title. And now what you're going to do is you're going to search for your movie. Um, my movie is right here, Rise of the Planet Apes. Alright, so right here I'll show you how much of the, um, or how much space to take up on a disc, the duration of it, um, how many item tracks and subtitles, and what the name of it is. Um, now if you go to project settings, um, which means do is you're going to go to general, encoder has to be normal or it won't burn correctly, um, then just copy everything else. Um, what's it called? Um, you're going to want to click this. I'm going to go to burning. You're going to go to burning project to disk, and you're going to change the name to it to whatever you want. All right. So now you make sure the speed's four times. Make sure it's the um of your burning or where your DVD tray is at, so I have mine there. What you're going to do is you're going to click automatically erase if it's writable, verify disk, and eject when done. Alright, so now I'll copy everything else here, and then click the set, accept. Now you're going to go to menu settings, and there's they're mostly the same thing, but yeah, um, there's MOSIC, original LED, that's what I have, plasma sphere, Simple playback, simple white, go party. Um, you can preview it, um, and it'll be like select title, English resume, main menu, and stuff like that. Um, you can also do subtitle or audio, and you can um, choose which menu to preview. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to choose um, the LED. You're going to make sure you check both of these boxes and auto play menu, and click accept. Now, you can save your project just in case, um, if you want to, but then you're going to create DVD, and it'll do all its magic, and you wait for the DVD to burn, and then you're pretty much done, you test it, and, yeah, um, thanks for watching this, it was a simple tutorial, um, please post in the comments below if you have any troubles or anything like that, so, peace out.